I don't know if, if, if the 69 team was closer than any other team that I played on. I mean, we, we just, LSU, the chemistry here is just unbelievable. And it, uh, I think every team that I played on had that same chemistry and that same, same feeling about it. And I know that it was everywhere we went for the three years that I played varsity ball here, we were always the smallest team. I mean, we were outgunned all the time. And we just found a way to win. And I think, I think Coach Mack was responsible for that. He had us convinced not only that we could win, but that we should win. And I think that, that, uh, that permeated the team. And I, I think that that belief that we, not only that we could, but we should, has helped us all through our lives. Coming from a small town like Crowley and playing a little bit as a freshman, you know that, I mean, you're at LSU, but you don't really feel what it is to be at LSU until you get into a really big game like that. And uh, when you're playing Alabama and you're playing Ole Miss and you're playing Auburn, those are teams that you just, it, it takes an absolute team effort. And uh, I think Coach Mack just instilled in us that we could win and that we should win. And I, 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 was, I always talk about when I was up in Cincinnati with Paul Brown and we were sitting around talking one day and he said, and he was talking about college football, and I said, yeah, well, we should have won the national championship my junior year. And he died laughing. I said, what are you, you know, I was offended by it. He said, he said, Coach Mack, Charlie McClendon is an enigma to the NFL. He said, LSU shouldn't beat Nebraska. They shouldn't beat Colorado. They shouldn't beat Notre Dame. They shouldn't win half the games that they win. He said, Charlie Mack is an enigma to the NFL because he wins so many games and he's got no players. And I was offended. I said, we've had great players. I said, they were just small. And he said, well, that's what I'm talking about. He said, how many people does LSU have in the NFL now? And I could think of Burt Jones, Jerry Stovall had just retired, Moody Winston was still there, Eddie Ray had retired. Uh, I could, I could think of about three or four people. And I, so I said, oh, three or four. And he said, uh, that Colorado team had two first round draft choices on it. That Nebraska team had four first round draft choices on it. The Notre Dame team had at least four first round draft choices on it. <laughs> and you're trying to tell me that LSU can compete with, with those guys? And I said, I said, we obviously can compete with them, we did. And he said, well, that's what I'm talking about, Coach Mack. Coach Mack just found a way to make a bunch of kids play as a team, and we won games that we shouldn't have won. But we never knew it, that we shouldn't win. And it was, it was then, I think, that I really, really understood and appreciated how much Coach Mack helped us. You know, because looking back on it, our greatest assets is that we were short and slow. <laughs> but we didn't know it, you know, we, hell, we just go out and play anybody. And we, and we, we never got trounced. We were always in the game. And um, it was, it was, it was something special to play for him.